Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at probably the most popular ROM out there. Guys, this is the CM11 ROM for your LG G2. Let's check it out. Guys, let's take a quick moment and give LG a round of applause for literally making the worst skin over Android that I have ever seen. But that's why we have ROMs like CyanogenMod that give us the latest version of Android and some extra features instead of cramming us with a bunch of useless stuff like ta-da LG does. So I'm sure you're all familiar with CyanogenMod by now as, as I said, it's a very, very popular ROM. So today I'm going to be focusing on features that you get from this ROM that you might not get from any other ROM. So what I mean is useful features for your LG G2 that Sanage Mod has crammed into this ROM. So let's take a look. The first most important feature that I think they added in CM11 is under the status bar settings. So if we go there we get a new option to double tap to sleep the status bar. So basically with LG we got that feature on stock LG UI where you could double tap the screen to lock it. And you lose this with stock Android, except with CyanogenMod. They included this feature where you could double tap the status bar and it will automatically lock your phone. So I found that very, very useful. As again, they have the buttons on the back. Don't even get me started on that, but definitely a really useful feature to have. Also, knock knock to unlock the device does work too, and I'll be showing that in a little bit. So if we get into some quick settings, quick panel settings, you could go and customize the tiles. I highly suggest you do this so you have quick access to different toggles instead of having to go into settings. Another really cool feature about Android. Also, we could look around and we get some more different features. And the next important one is under buttons and layout. Here we could go and customize the buttons at the bottom. Again, LG did allow you to do this, but they didn't give you that many choices, or at least useful choices. Now you could go and add a little menu button to the side, so it doesn't take up any extra room, and it's really good to have there. I found that very useful, and I definitely use the menu button a lot. Also, you can customize your quick launch when you pull up from the home button. That you could play around with yourself, add your own apps. Under lock screen settings, it's basically the basic stuff that we get from any other lock screen settings. I'm not going to go in depth with that, but let's take a look at some of the other features that they include. The next pretty cool feature is under display and lights. So I already mentioned this, 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 and that's the knock knock feature. So double tap to wake. Basically, when you lock your device, you could double tap the screen to open it up again. A feature that came with stock LG that you're not losing here. So that's another big, big bonus. Also, under buttons, we could customize our volume rocker a little more. So we could have the volume rockers unlock the device too, which is a lot easier than just searching for the power button. So what is there left to say? Well, even if this ROM had a million bugs, I would still rather use it than LG's UI. Thankfully, it does not have a million bugs and everything is working perfectly fine. Camera takes great shots just like you would get on LG's UI. Of course, you could still go look at them in the gallery. Camera is always sometimes a problem, but definitely not here. And Sanjimod has actually made ROMs for the G2 for a while now, so it's definitely stable enough to use as a daily driver. Battery life is probably even better than I was getting on LG's UI since we're getting rid of those features. So why not switch to this ROM? After this video, if you still don't want to switch to this ROM, then there definitely is something wrong with you. Better battery life, better features, faster device, what else is there more to want in a ROM? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely go check the ROM out down below. Make sure to flash the ROM, flash, flash the ROM and the gaps. And give this video a thumbs up, as I said, guys. Thanks for watching.